Predict the future, Nathaniel. I mean, how does this weekend go? What events are you targeting? Take me through it. 200. I participated in 200. I chose to forgo the 100. Um, qualify to the final and um, get top two. You know, obviously I have my personal goals as far as positions and whatnot. But um, one thing I never do, I never run for time. Right. You know, I never run for time. I run for place because time will come. So get automatic qualification, you know, take it out of selectors' hands and then prepare for London Diamond League after that. Adam, Reese, Zarnell, CJ, I mean, there's a few around you who are running well. How do you assess the form of, of those potential rivals? Um, I'm, I'm happy with all of them, you know. It's healthy for the sport, you know, competition is good. You know, I feel like we're on the rise as a, as a country as far as male sprints is concerned mm. and we're battling with the best of them. Mm. CJ's been a figure in some diamond leagues. Mm. Adam's always a warrior. Mm. Um, Reese Prescott's a great talent, you know, can't forget mm. Dash. Mm. I don't leave anybody mm. out, but I've got a tremendous respect for all those guys, you know, and um, I'm excited to see what all of us can do this weekend. I'll ask everyone this, but globally, have you, have you got what it takes to make the inroads on the top performers and, and what underpins your confidence? Mm. Where does that come from? Um, I'm a very confident person, you know, I may not say much, but at the end of the day, track is more mental than physical, so you have to have a certain confidence about you, you know, everybody expresses it differently, and um, no doubt I definitely feel I have what it takes to compete with the world's best, you know, and um, I'm excited for the next chapter of my life as far as professional sports is considered, and hopefully I can showcase my talents to the world. We're sitting here in July, picture us sitting here in October, looking back on all the things that you've achieved this season. What are those things? World champion. Um, that's that's what you want. You know, if you're not aiming to be world champion, I really question what you're doing because you should never go into a race defeated. You know, I always go in a race with the mindset to win, and um, that's my ultimate aim. But let's get through this weekend, handle the business, God sparing, come out healthy, and uh, take on world champs. Good luck with that. Man. Thank you, sir. No worries.